Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome sis. You will love it here. On this channel, we talk about luxury, lifestyle, home decor, beauty, fashion, all of the above. So if those are things that you are into, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And also stay tuned because I am trying to upload a lot more regularly here. Today I am bringing you a super exciting video. I'm currently in my basement slash entertainment space and I've been in my home for about three years now and this is the most completed room in the house. If you've ever decorated a home, you know it takes time. You end up buying stuff and replacing stuff and your style changes over the years. But I really feel like I was able to perfect this space and get it exactly how I want. And I'm really, really happy with it. So I wanted to share it with you guys just for inspiration or ideas if you're currently decorating a home or you're stuck and you, you need some inspiration for an entertainment space. I would love to be that for you or give that to you. So a super exciting video today. If you're interested, please stay tuned for the video. Okay guys, welcome to my basement slash entertainment space. I am currently in the basement. I am going to be going, um, basically just hitting the key pieces in here that really make it what it is. And so I'm going to be starting with the bar area here, which is probably my favorite area in the basement. You guys caught us on a good day because the bar is fully stocked. We actually don't even drink that much, but we like to keep a well-stocked bar because we do do quite a bit of entertainment and we do do quite a bit of entertaining. We have quite a few people over, so having a stocked bar is always nice. Um, I'm going to start off here. This is a wine fridge. Um, this bar was a custom build. We got a contractor to come in and build the bar. So um, the cabinetry, um, the cabinetry was purchased from a website and I'll see if I can link it down below. And then like the countertop and other pieces of the bar, the backsplash were kind of all put together. So some of it is linkable and some of it is not, but I'll link as much as I can. I'm gonna start off here in the wine fridge wine fridge is pretty well stocked but this is where we just keep most of our whites or the wines that we like chilled here um then down here i'm not going to go inside the open cabinets because they are pretty messy but we have storage and just um places like hiding red cups when we don't want to use like our nice glasses um but yes so we have red wines here or just wines that um, we don't need chilled at the moment. I think it looks so good with the lighting in here. It just looks amazing. But yeah, plenty room still for more bottles of wine. Moving along to the countertop area, um, these are some of the specialty liquor that we have gotten from overseas. This is from our honeymoon in Tahiti. Um, I think this is from Mexico here. And then this was uh, brought to us by our neighbors from Guyana. So uh, my husband really likes collecting uh, liquors from all over. It's just kind of fun whenever we travel, we just try to get some. Um, so as you can see, I have like a matching vibe going on over here. And this set is actually from Pottery Barn, and I'll link it be below. It's the Bleaker set, absolutely freaking gorgeous. Um, this is the ice bucket. It comes with a tray here, and then this has like a pitcher that you can use to pour like margaritas. Um, and then behind here is also a bar set with utensils like a spoon and a shot glass and then i believe you use this to strain um mixed drinks 
so I thought this set was so beautiful and being as we have gold in the bar I think it goes really well and accents the bar very nicely um, so um, it's not a real bar without liquor display of course so we got this liquor shelf from Amazon and it's kind of cool it lights up uh, various colors and that's where we just display some of our liquors there's no particular order or anything these are just some of the things we like to drink and there's a little bit of everything for those who come over and prefer a certain kind of drink as well um, moving down here, I purchased this from Target and I thought it went really well with the gold vibes going on in the bar. Um, we use this to hold our bar Bardison pods. We do have a Bardison machine and it is the best thing since sliced bread. I will demonstrate how it works for you guys in just a minute, but I think it's so freaking cool. Um, it's basically a barista, like think of a Keurig, but for alcoholic drinks. And no, we are not alcoholics like I stated before, but this is really, really great when you're entertaining. I am not the best at mixing drinks for people or making drinks, so this kind of takes the guesswork out of it. And let me just tell you, when we host and we have people over, they absolutely love it. Um, I'll show you guys how it works in just a second, but we keep some of the drink pods here. As you can see, there's our Morato Sour, Old Fashioned, Sex on the Beach. Um, basically, any kind of drink you can think of, it can make. So yeah, and then I also bought this from Target too. It matches. We just use this to drop like trash and the empty Bardison pods once we finish making drinks in them. Okay, so I've picked my drink. I'll be having a lemon drop. I'm gonna grab my glass. I'm gonna use a martini glass for my lemon drop. You put the glass underneath like this. And every pod has a barcode. So you just load it into the machine. And the machine reads the barcode and knows which liquor to put inside. It's pretty cool. So you just close it like this. And at the top, it's going to ask you if you would like a mocktail, light, regular, strong. I'm going to go mocktail and you just mix and it mixes your drink for you and because it normally if you are having it with liquor it'll pull from one of the reservoirs here this is vodka this is rum back here, and then this is, I don't know why it's not focused, but this is whiskey and then tequila back there. So depending on the drink and the barcode, it knows what to pull for you. And then it says, oh, cheers, open the lid and remove the capsule. It is truly amazing. All the drinks taste like professional mixed drinks that you would have at a bar. So cheers guys. Moving on to the top cabinet of the bar. This is where we just keep um, our glasses. I am obsessed with glassware. I These are not even all my glasses. Some of them are upstairs, but I try to have um, every kind of glass for every kind of drink. I think it just so elegant and so much fun when you are drinking um, out of the intended glasses for different cocktails. So I have margarita glasses here, um, whiskey glasses, taller highball glasses. Those are martini glasses up here. And 
then I also have my personal favorite, the coupe glass. I think it's so pretty. I believe these were from Ikea. Um, but yeah, I just think it's so much fun to have different kinds of glasses. We have more wine uh, space right here, which is not completely filled, but we do have some wines in there that don't need to be refrigerated. And at the very top, we just have some um, more liquor there. And over here, we have more glasses. I have my champagne flutes, some wine glasses. Oh, these are my absolute favorite, gifted to me by my neighbors. They are from Z Gallery, and they're just very beautiful uh, champagne flutes. We also have some beer glasses up there, more and more wine glasses. Oh, I got these from... I want to say Crate and Barrel, and these are really large red wine glasses, and I absolutely love them. Next, right off the bar, I'm going to be moving to this space here. I love this accent wall. Um, we had the same guy who built the bar come in and give us an accent wall. This color is Urban Bronze by Sherwin Williams. It's like a dark, dark green and I absolutely love it. Love it, love it. I was thinking about going black for this ba back and accent wall, which have, would have worked too, in my opinion. But uh, there's something so nice about the green that just kind of brings the space together. Um, we have a foosball table here. My husband has always wanted a foosball table, so we got one of those, which go really well in the space. Um, the accent wall is so pretty. It's just some really nice paneling and it just adds texture and more fun to the space. Next, I wanted to talk about the center seating area. This is probably the most comfortable, one of the most comfortable couches in my house. I shouldn't say the most comfortable. It's definitely one of the most comfortable um, we've had plenty of naps and sleep sessions down here. It is truly comfortable. Um, the couch is from Macy's. If it's still available, I'll try and link it all down below. Pillows are from Amazon. I've always wanted a navy blue couch. And so I think it just is really fun and it works really well in the space. I didn't want like a super monochromatic look. So there's different colors and textures and vibes in here um i feel like the wood flooring goes well with the wood table which also goes well with the foosball table and the accent table everything kind of just plays off of one another um four pillows decided to go with like jewel tones green and earth tones the green and the brown kind of pop with the navy blue and I think it just looks really well and this couch was actually a later edition it's not a match a perfect match to the sectional but I don't really feel like you can even really tell um, the couch is from Wayfair and we just felt like we needed additional seating as I told you we do do a lot of hosting and um, we pack this place out and sometimes there's not enough seating for everyone. So we definitely added this later as, as in later edition. But I still feel that it looks really well with the sectional and it works really well with the space here. This is my decor here. I got this bowl from house and then the filling is from amazon and target just did some green moss balls just to play on the jewel tones again it goes pops with the accent tree in the background moving on to this area here um, my husband is a huge Manchester United fan, so I did this design for him. I feel like it works really well in the space, and it kind of adds that element of a sports vibe. Um, 
And so I, I think it looks really well in the basement. I've tried my best to mix feminine and masculine for just the ultimate gender neutral entertainment space. I feel like the bar adds a little bit of feminine femininity while the back accent wall and this wall here adds a masculine element to the space. So I got the plaque made for him. It's from Etsy and we framed some jerseys of his favorite players. We got some picture lights above for just added flair and I think they look so good above the jerseys and then we went ahead and did more seating here as I stated before uh, we just never have enough seats and even with all the seating we have in here we still end up pulling out more chairs um, to seat our guests sometimes like Super Bowl night and events like that um, but I got this here from Wayfair and I absolutely love it I think it goes very well with the rest of the furniture and the rest of the wood elements down here um, it's just kind of this high top table that fits very sleekly on this wall with three additional um, bar stools and you can still walk there's still plenty of space to walk here um, so and there's plenty of space to pull out and guests who decide to sit here have a really good view of our TV over here I turned the lights down low so that you can see a little bit better but this is probably my second most favorite thing down here which is the big screen um, we have a projector up here and it projects onto this really big screen. My husband also put some really big like subs so we have like movie quality sound down here and it is just so amazing. We have everything hooked up, cable, Netflix. This is like the best place to watch our shows and our movies and it's just so much fun. Everybody loves coming down here to just chill and have a really good time. So the big screen is probably my second favorite aspect down here. Just getting a better look into the console area. Those are the speakers that I um, told you about. There's one on this side, one on this side, and one center bar in the middle. My husband has his PS5 also in the console. And um, yeah, basically this unit here was from House. Uh, I believe it's sold on Wayfair as well. Um, but it just has a nice, clean, like, concrete look to it. And I felt like it went really well with the rest of the elements in the basement. And last but certainly not least, we do have a small little workout space in the basement here. We just have some of our weights here. Just a few ranging from 30 to 10 pounds we have our running shoes and then we have our Peloton tread. Love the tread. I also have the bike, but the bike has now been moved to the garage. And then we have the tread here. The tread fits so perfectly in this space. Um, I feel like it is hardly even noticeable, very minimal, very clean. And um, I just really like it here. I wish that I could still see the big screen when I'm on the tread, but you know, the tread has its own screen. So, but I really like watching TV when I walk or run on the treadmill. So I wish there was a way that we could have it facing the big screen, but um, I would have to move a lot of things around down here to make that possible and I finally got it perfect and I feel like it fits perfectly in this space. Guys, this is just an overview of the whole basement. That does conclude the basement slash entertainment space tour. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Definitely comment down below and share with all your friends. Thanks for watching.